Hey developers, today we're going to look at FreeNAS. Now the version used to be known as FreeNAS 10 has become FreeNAS Corral. And the reason you might be interested in this is because it helps you virtualize your desktops and environments. You can obviously set up a NAS, which is really nice. And you can also set up Docker images really simply. So I'm going to show you my setup that I set up recently for a, a test system and then how I'm using it. So here is the login. You can see this website is created. This is actually created with React and they're using D3 in the background and Velocity, JS. They even have an Easter egg on the front page. So if you do up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, you get a little GIF, maximum over, I don't know what that is, but it's just a little funny Easter egg they added in there for it. So let's go ahead and log in. So I already set up a login here. And by the way, that code that I entered in the beginning, that was uh, the Konami code. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, enter, start. So I already set up the dashboard here and you can see this is a box that I set up a few days ago. I just built and it's a Xeon box. I made it out of a Lenovo TS120. Uh, it runs a Xeon processor, 3.4 gigahertz. You can see here in the top left-hand corner, it has eight cores. So it's pretty good. I have 32 gigs of RAM in it. So I've been, it, I got it really cheap. It's like $350 off of eBay um, without the hard drives. I had to buy the hard drives, but I, this is gonna be my test system. I'm also gonna do backs up, back up all my media on it. And uh, then I'm gonna use it also for development and creating VMs and messing around with that stuff. You can kind of neat on this dashboard here, you can see the CPU temperature, the usage, disk temperature, load averages. I can make sure that all my disk, disk drives, which are pretty much jam packed in this box, um, aren't getting too hot. And I can check the disk IO. Uh, you can see I already set up my storage here. I created something called My Media. And if you look at the topology, I have five drives, five four terabyte drives in there in RAID Z2. So that is kind of similar um, to RAID 6. So any two drives can go out and I'm still okay. Of course, I'm gonna create a backup system in place as well because you never know what can happen. So I only have 10 terabytes usable, but 11 terabytes should be plenty of space to play around with and set all my media and movies and stuff on it. And then create my virtualization environments for my programming that I'm doing. Uh, another neat thing about FreeNAS Corral, and it's not Coral, don't get it mixed up with like the C life, it's Corral, is you can create VMs. So I already created three VMs here and I'll get into Docker in a second, but it's really simple. You just hit the plus arrow here and then you give it a name. And then it has all these templates and these templates, if you choose these templates, it'll automatically just download the images for you. Um, otherwise you can to choose uh, your own images that you wanna use, which you would have to then, uh, what you could do is you could create devices and I'll show you here, it'll be easier. If on this Linux, uh, you go down to devices here, have an OS and NIC. If I hit the plus arrow, I can add a CD-ROM to it. And then in the CD-ROM, I can give a path to like an image file. And then it basically, you can boot up the VM and then you can do the installation of it, which makes it really nice. Um, you, you also have in your virtual machines, like if I just wanted to get on here and I didn't have PuTTY or any SSH or VNC set up, I can hit Serial Console. And I know I'm going through a lot of terms really quickly, so if you don't understand this, don't feel bad. Um, so here, I, you can see at the bottom, I can log in. I already created a login here. So now I'm into my Ubuntu box. And what's really cool about this too, is that this image already came with VNC uh, pre-installed on it. So I have a VNC viewer here and you can't see it's on another screen. So let me see if I can log in.
which I don't know if I have it configured correctly. Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. Let's try this one. Continue, password. All right, so you can see here I'm logged in through VNC to a virtual console um, to the desktop, the GUI desktop for my Ubuntu box. And it's pretty quick. I mean, it lags a little bit, but it's pretty quick. It's not too bad, and I can go in here and do things um, as if I wanted to do anything in the graphics. I also have, uh, looks like this is XFCE. It's the graphical user environment. So I'm going to close this. And if I set this up too, and I don't have it set up on this one, but I could add a graphics device here. And then I can actually VNC directly inside here as well, which is pretty cool. And Windows, I installed, it took a little bit of time. I just had to read up on some instructions, but I actually installed Windows uh, Server 2016. And I added some media and graphics as I, and I gave it a hard drive. You add it through a hard drive. So if I click on the VGA console here, it should work, but maybe not. It can't. All right, I would show you my Windows VM, but it's still a little flaky. I still got to do a little bit more configuration on it, but definitely something that I need to look into. But it would just be nice, like a little server you can play around with. Uh, if I hit VGA console, you could see it's trying to load but it's not quite loading, so I need to look into that. One other cool thing about FreeNAS is I can create uh, containers really easily. And so I created one for Plex. So if I click on the web UI, it'll load up what I already created earlier. I just put one movie on there. And then I can create Sab and ZBD if I want to do some downloading headphones. So I just added these containers for fun. I tried to do Phoenix and Ember.js, but the doc, the containers for that, it couldn't quite working. But if you click plus here and you just look at the ones at FreeNAS, you can see here's all the images that you can get directly from them, but you can also add anything you can find on Docker Hub. And so it has kind of the more popular ones like Plex and if you're doing a lot of downloading, Radar and sick beard and things like that and you just click on any one of them you want and it kind of pre-configures everything you want here and you might have to set where the you want the config and download the hosts are but it makes it really easy to set up so this is just a quick overview of freenas now what you once you get a server up and running it's kind of nice especially the virtualizations you should be able to go in and, and do some remote work from it. Or if you need to test out something, you can copy things over and do some testing. You can easily stop and destroy your your containers and your virtual machines real easily. And you have, of course, since you're on uh, the server, you don't have to worry about if your machine shuts down or anything, you can have these always running. So that's just a quick look at FreeNAS and how it works and a little bit about virtualization and programming. Thanks. If you like this video, please click the subscribe button and leave a comment below. Later.